Hey guys, welcome to the awakening. Today is 56, day 56 today. 56, goodness me. And I hope you're basking in the sunshine, enjoying yourself. I hope you're enjoying the little snippets, the um, heart, little heart vision snippets. But this is the full awakening. And um, so, about 20 minutes to half an hour of talking to you about taking you from the dark into the light. So, let's have a look at today. Let's have a look at what I want to talk about today. Okay, today I want to talk about the darkness of when truthers like myself uh, get nasty phone calls, when truthers like myself get challenged, when you feel that, you know, you can't really cope with what's going on and you think why am i doing this am i doing this uh, do i really believe it people are challenging me and yada 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 and that is the darkness okay and people talk about this all the time people like liz croken people that that are you know i've been going out there for years and years and years to expose what's going on with children to expose all the stuff out there to help people wake up now, um, now I basically have only been doing this for a while. I've only been doing this for a while. And so what I'm saying here is their answer is to people, and this is the light, is why do you think we do it? Why do you think we get up, we work 24 hours a day nearly, editing or or exporting or researching or making programs to grow a tv station that is all about love compassion freedom humanity releasing the children bringing back innocence and making you feel good giving you back freedom the freedom that you lost centuries ago why do you think we do it i mean what's the point what is the point? I, I remember Liz Crokin saying this on one of our programs. What is the point? I mean, she never gets paid anything. <laughs> I've never been paid anything to do this. Maybe once in the whole history of moving on TV, we're talking about five, four, five years ago, someone gave me 500 quid. Apart from that, I've never been paid to do this. Um, you get a ha nasty phone calls telling you you're mad and you're insane and you know, you're, you're um, fake and whatever. People don't want to talk to you. Uh, people report you and you get censored and cut off all over the place. And you have to code your messages and everything. So why do we do this? So take you into the light here. Well, because we believe in it, because we love humanity, because for years and years and years, I personally, my gut has been telling me that something's wrong. My gut has been telling me a lot is wrong. <laughs> I've been putting two and two together and coming up with four around big pharma, around all these things that didn't seem right to me. Uh, I couldn't get any work. As soon as I started talking about healing people without medication, the doors all slammed in my face. Um, not one charity would support me and they told me they wouldn't support me mine said they will not support me because i don't push medication they told me and all they push is ruby wax and the same people all the time so it gets to a point that's the light the light is boom light bulbs are going off in your head what's going on here and then when they declared that there was a virus a serious virus I knew it wasn't. I knew because I've been doing my research for so long. I've been watching people I trust. I've been watching Q. I knew something was coming up. They told us. And so as soon as they told me it was a serious virus, all my intuition, everything I've worked for came up and I thought, nah, this isn't working for me. This is something else. This is something else. Uh, I wasn't sure what it was. Um, and I didn't believe that the cruelty had got to such a level. But over the last couple of uh, months that we've been in lockdown, I've understood what it is. I've understood. And I've also understood the spiritual side, 
which is everything had to come up to be cleared. And, and I, I knew I read things years ago, and I was getting ready to become a community officer, to be part of this, to be part of the life and the awakening. But I never really thought it was going to be there on our doorstep. And now it is. So I do this because I love it, <laughs> simple. I do it because I love humanity, I love you, I love me. Uh, I mean, in my own personal situation, we couldn't rent a nice home. And you know, you follow me on Facebook where they wouldn't have our animals, two beautiful little cats, and they wouldn't let us uh, rent a nicer home because we don't earn enough. Self-employment wasn't even good enough. And I saw how this got worse and worse and worse to the point where I thought, mm, something's going wrong here. It's got to such a level where it just doesn't make any sense anymore. And we're never getting out of here. And if we can't rent and our landlord tells us to go, well, we'd be homeless. You know, stuff like that. And it started to wake up bit by bit and realize what's really going on. And now I'm pro it's proven to me. So coming from the darkness into the light, this is why I do the work. I do this work because in the therapeutic community in chapter eight, Simply Amazing, which I'll show you now, my book, the book that Casey Armstrong did about me, and I am chapter eight, as you can see, Lauren Hope, chapter eight, down there, okay? And I'm going to open and read you a tiny bit from my story. Now you can get this book. See, I woke up a massive wake up in the therapeutic community. Massive, massive, massive. Huge, absolutely huge. I wouldn't be there if it wasn't for that. I'm just going to read a snippet from the interview that Casey Armstrong did with me. Right. Um, it was around the death of my father uh, and adversity. Um, Casey said, it's kind of funny. I should tell the audience that Laura and I have a personal relationship. We talk sometimes. Right before this interview, I wasn't really feeling well. And I said to Lauren, you know, the show must go on. I didn't know that saying has such an important place in your life, Lauren. And I said, Casey, it's amazing. You should say that. This is why I do my work. The show must go on. We have to get up every day and we have to, I didn't feel like doing it today. I didn't feel like it. I felt a bit of low after. I'm very sensitive and when people attack me or call me things on the phone or, you know, or I get lonely because I've got a family, I think I don't want to do this, but the show must go on and this is why. So I said, yes, Casey, it's amazing you should say that. And he said, so Lauren, so far it seems like you had an awful lot of adversity growing up. Your mother didn't know how to show love. Your, your father... Uh, your dad and mom both put you, although unknowingly, into danger. Not only did they not get you help for your terrifying experience, but it sounded like they just wanted you to be quiet and move on like it never happened. So there you go. People want you to shut up and not say the truth. A child that knew the truth, a child that had been abused, was told to shut up, you know? And I know the truth, and I'm telling you it. I'm never shutting up. Um, so you developed an eating disorder and eventually lost both your parents. So much more than anyone should ever have to go through. But you keep mentioning the therapeutic community, which gave you your life back. Please tell us more about that. Uh, and then I just very quickly say, well, it wasn't until I entered the mental health group called the therapeutic community that I began to learn how to work with people and just so much more. I knew I had some kind of issue and the psychiatrist offered me the opportunity to join the Savage community when I told her I refused to be medicated. This is 10 years ago. I was put in a group of about 20 seriously ill people like me. We were pretty much supposed to help run the group ourselves and support each other. We use tough love to deal with each other. There's a terrible stigma about BPD. I don't believe in it anymore. It's just a label. To me, it's just a conglomerate of issues that we all have. People say we're liars, thieves, psychopaths, even murderers. And when I entered, the staff treated me the same way they would someone who actually was all those things. I thought it was going to be really easy, but it wasn't. But the beautiful thing is, you don't have any medication. You're not allowed. 
The community was a place where they took your medication away from you to get back to what made you the person you are. The only way to find out what's wrong with you is to have to sit with your pain and acknowledge it. We had a bell. We would ring every time we were in distress. I used to ring it all day until Mel, one of the staff members, asked me if I could try just to sit with my pain. And I did. I was overwhelmed with panic, fear, nausea, everything you can imagine. But I didn't die. You know, nothing bad happened. I came through it just sitting with it. I started to learn how to live in the world and that every single person that you look at is your mirror image and your teacher. Slowly, instead of blaming everyone and feeling they're punishing you, I learned they're actually giving you a gift. Okay, so after what I felt, again, kind of bullied by people saying to me, I'm an idiot, I'm mentally ill, whatever. These are my mirrors and my teachers. They give me the guts and the courage to go out there and to say the truth. They don't scare me, they propel me. They propel me on to doing my work. So thank you for that because nothing can stop you now. Once you red peel, that's it, you can't go back. Anyway, so that's taking you from the dark into the light. Be honest, be true to yourself, validate yourself and say the truth. And if you're a young person watching this and you're going through any kind of abuse or you're being hurt, stand up and say the truth. If you can't say it to someone around you, tell me, I will always believe you and I will fight your corner. That's what Moving On TV is for, for you, for every one of us, okay? Tell me. Okay. Nurture yourself today, my darlings. Nurture yourself today. Today is your time, my friend. I will give myself some nurturing by listing the things I enjoy doing and trying to do at least one. How to stay sane in a crazy world. Cards that I channel after the therapeutic community. Nurture yourself today. Nurture yourself today, okay? Now, I promised you I was going to do some more cards. So I'm going to do some Sri Baba. I've got Sri Baba cards. Um, so for my beautiful viewers, what have we got today? Give food to the hungry, water to the thirsty, and clothes to the needy. And if you are that person that needs to be nurtured, make sure you have food, water, drink, and clothes to wear. Share, guys. Share the love. Share the love. That takes you very quickly into the heart. When you share the love, it takes you very quickly into the heart chakra. And now a beautiful message from heaven from your loved ones. <laughs> okay, I hope you're enjoying these. Views are going up. I'm really happy. Subscriptions are going up. It makes me so happy to see that what I'm doing here is giving you the opportunity to thrive, Hopefully a few of you are checking out all the information I'm giving and Charlie Ward. I'm finishing a massive question and answers, which I can't actually export while I'm doing the Zoom because it goes too slow. But once I finish, the, the program should be going on soon. It's about an hour and 15 minutes of you to be able to share with your loved ones, your friends, your anyone who needs to ask questions from all my research, years of research, years and years and life experience and gut channeling and all sorts, okay? So check it out. And I'm also going to divide the questions up into maybe two questions, three questions, so there'll be shorter ones you can give out as well. Okay, so messages from heaven, which is for me today as well. And it's upside down. <laughs> We are proud of you and aware of your achievements. And maybe it was upside down because we work so hard and sometimes we don't feel that they are proud of us up there in heaven um, because they didn't really teach us to be proud of ourselves or we don't feel proud enough inside. Maybe that's why it's upside down, my intuition is saying. So let's turn it the right way up. I am proud and everyone, each and every one of you, you're doing your job, you're showing up as Laurie Ladd said. Now it's time to do the research, really get on board. And come on board Moving On TV if you wanna do your own program like Jaden 
or Martin or Paul McDonald, you know. Um, there's a program there for you to do your own. Okay, there you go, my darlings. Lovely lots. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Taking you from the darkness into the light. Please like, subscribe, share. <laughs> and if you've got a kid that's stage struck, then please, please do send them to me. I, I want them to open the happy news and to host the happy news. Take care. Love you lots. <laughs>